In my perfect world, I would stand here in front of you, calm, poised, remarkably confident. I would command your attention and deliver an introduction the way I imagine Kate would. Effortless, unpredictable, charming, disarmingly confident, perfect. However, unfortunately, I'm not Kate, and I'm really just an awestruck superfan who was lucky enough to be asked here. So I'm going to make a very genuine attempt through my shaking voice to give her the honor she deserves. I remember the first time I saw Kate, I was 13 years old, and I went to the lo local movie theater to see Elizabeth. I remember when she came on screen. I can remember the feeling that washed over me seeing her with her piercingly blue eyes and her alabaster skin. Her ethereal grace and magnetism taking over the screen, even in her silence, even in her stare. It was one of the moments I knew for sure I wanted to be an actor, but more than that, it was the moment I knew I didn't just want to be an actor, I wanted to be an actor like Kate. And from that day on, I remember following her and watching her, being seduced over and over with each performance, each and every character distinct, wildly different from the next. I never knew what to expect from her. I could never predict a line or a feeling. I would go looking for Kate Blanchett, but Kate Blanchett was never there. It was always someone else, someone new I had never seen before. I'm often asked, whose career do you admire? Or if you could choose an actress who's had the most influence on you, who would it be? And I've always been very hesitant to vocalize the one or commit to a person. And there are so many influencers worth fawning over, but the truth of the matter is, the virtues that I admire most about Kate are the ones that I could never disclose publicly. I sort of liken them to private little treasures that I visit for inspiration, for motivation, for reassurance or courage. <laughs> 